Hi, I'm James Reese. I'm the man man who kind of slightly accidentally organized Exeter by night. You're one of the founding members, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> so I guess, how did Exeter find you? Uh, how did Exeter find, well, I found a couple of people who were also doing vampire related things and I saw like a Baron, and a prince and well Matt Stormcrow as, as well and it's like I like vampire I'm gonna do it and I kind of introduced myself as a influential Malkavian duetting a whole bunch of other people on the app and then all those extra people said hey like do you actually want to like organize a discord and start figuring out a plot line and we did that. And then Exeter was born. So, who is your kid? I play uh, Kenneth the Oracle. Also, recently, the Herald of the Prince. He's a Malkavian who is a mover and shaker and will do anything to make sure that the masquerade is safe and that the Camry is on top. Um, well, there's a lot of things about them, <laughs> about him, and why they are the way they are. One, well, mainly is that he views himself as a shepherd and needing to guide the flock because he was a priest. Well, he was about to be a priest and then he was embraced. And he still tries to stay um, human by um, going back to that, those roots. Right. Um, it's not working, but he tries. Why are you set? Um, well, why the set? I think it's because of the rules. Like he, he, used, he was trained to be a Catholic priest, and he grew up in a strict household. So the rules is what he is used to and all of the rules he believes is the safest way to go about things. What's your favorite Exeter moment? It can be with your character or without your character. What's your favorite character? What's your favorite, what's your favorite, what's your favorite moment? Yeah. My favorite moment. Busting down the door to Reggie and Shiloh's um, safe house and saying hello there. We have much to talk about. Is still a big highlight for me. Um, what's uh, what's your favorite character other than your own? Even though Kenneth is clearly the most popular character, everyone loves Kenneth. I'm done. No, they don't. <laughs> um, favorite character other than oh, I want to say Judas. Judas? because of how conniving and also how, I was going to say human, but with them being Sabbat, they've kind of negated that, how real they can be with, even despite the fact that humanity no longer applies to them, how human they can appear. Um, what do you love about the community? I love that everyone is doing their best to make sure that everyone else is safe right. and comfortable and a, mostly accommodating to everyone. We've, we are working hard to make sure that that stays the way it is. Fire. What's your favorite joke that became real? The joke that became real? I think one that I was also kind of influenced. And I don't mean to sound like, like I'm proud of myself all the time because I try not to be. But the fact that Exeter, um, the um, oh, the Night Owl conglomerate, <laughs> which I don't know if you 
had this. Ex- do you mind if I explain it? Yeah, right, right. So, Night Owl Conglomerate is a in-universe band or um, project within Exeter by Night, where they kind of they they kind of do well. They do a whole bunch of things, and they're a band that's a project that's influenced by Kindred and whatnot. And I made the um, the lore for it kind of on the whim and then one of our coolest artists actually made a band logo for them and then I got the sweatshirt for it and it was like we we as a community created this as an inside joke Um, last question yeah what's your message to the community um the universal gaming rule, don't be a dick. And uh, since we're on night two, what was your best what was your favorite part about night one? What'd you take from it? Night in one character is character and out of character. In character, it was fun to act out Kenneth for like five hours straight and be like really fucking weird and get in that headspace. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, am I allowed to curse on this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, just making sure, because I just realized I dropped an F-bomb. I didn't know how to, okay. And uh, out of character, I did it again, and I made a plot line out of thin air, and I had to tell the story monitors, and it's like, you, you mad bastards, let's go. <laughs> One more time, what's your message to the community? Like, love, love Well, don't be a dick kind of covers it all, like, care for one another and don't no, don't mess with folks. Awesome. Oh, where can people find Kenneth's story? Oh, Kenneth's story is on my page at Consumer of Coffee in, in BC, and Consumer of Coffee and PCs. Awesome. Yes.